Welcome to Red Square. Not the one in Moscow, but the one on the beautiful campus of Western Washington University. Hi, I'm Audrey Kuhn and I'm on the rowing team. That means I can tell people I'm an NCAA champion and that is a great feeling. I've had three great years here at Western Washington. Our campus is beautiful, situated between Puget Sound and the San Juan Islands to the west and the Cascade Mountains and Mount Baker to the east. And if nature isn't enough of an inspiration to my 13,000 fellow students, we can contemplate the 24 outdoor sculptures throughout our campus. But what inspires me the most are some smaller works of art. The trophies we have for winning the past three NCAA Division II rowing championships. We like them so much, we're out on the water every day at the ungodly hour of 5 a.m. working toward championship number four. Tell everyone about the workouts we do in the afternoons and in the mornings. We practice six days a week on the water um, from five until about seven. Saturdays sometimes we'll get to sleep in until 6 and practices are usually a little bit longer. Then we have afternoon workouts five days a week which are done on our own times which usually consist of um, weight training and cardio workouts. The mornings are usually more intense than the afternoon but depending on the season we hit it hard for about three, three and a half hours a day total. What motivates you to get up at 4.30 in the morning and practice at five, six days a week? Well, it's definitely hard to wake up at 4.30 in the morning, especially when it's dark and raining, and sometimes you actually think, what am I doing to myself when you wake up that early? But just once you get out here and you realize that everyone else has made the same sacrifice. I think those um, eight other women in the boat make it all worth it. It's uh, eight of your closest friends. Everyone really works hard to push each other and um, people who have been on the team a little bit longer usually try and step up with a leadership role with people who haven't been on the team for as long. You just kind of, it's second nature to just get out of bed and go through the motions and we know what we want to accomplish in the springtime and we know what it takes to get there. How did it feel to win a national championship? I remember feeling pretty relieved but um, it didn't really hit me until later when I talked to my family on the phone. Uh, that, that was when it, it gets a little bit more uh, personal. I like to think that the varsity has us to thank for their success <laughs> because they can continually like work to outrow us every morning. <laughs> and, and I think it just gives them something to like aim for, which is great. Is the pressure on to repeat or do you even think about it? I don't feel like we have that much pressure for the fourth because every year uh, is brand new. Um, it was fantastic for the first, second, and third. <laughs> But uh, this year is a totally different year. We set goals out at the beginning of the year. We don't talk about the past or the future. It's just whatever we can do for that season. He wants us to push hard, and he wants us to work hard together. But he doesn't want to put an unnecessary burden on us either. Coach tells us to just take one day at a time and to not, not expect any sort of results, but to just be continually pushing ourselves. Yeah, we're going to take one more now, and it's going to be 20 strokes. So it's 120 stroke start. Attention, go! Well, the stern fair lays out the rhythm, right? And they have to be fit enough to where they, they have to be really dependable. And your middle four, they're pretty much the engine room. They, they don't have a lot of jobs other than just cranking on it, okay? It's the most stable part of the boat. It's the, the widest part of the boat. So they're pretty comfy sitting in there. And then the bow pair, they have to be, they're typically your lighter kids, but they also have to be really cognizant of what they're doing because they could throw the set of the boat off. Would you say that rowing is a pretty intense sport? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely intense, and I've never, I've never committed this sort of time to any sort of endeavor of mine. So in that sense, it's really a step up for me. Rowing in general is both uh, mentally and physically very painful. Um, the races are physically extremely demanding. It's seven minutes of pretty excruciating um, pain. Uh, and mentally you have to push through those physiological, it, coaches is always saying, oh, push through the physiological changes. And we just joke about it because it's like, oh yeah, uh -huh. it's that simple. Rowing is definitely the hardest sport I've ever done in my life. And I think um, 
it's taught me a whole entirely new way to push myself. So, something I never would have found if I wouldn't have joined the rowing team. Thank you, Lady Vikings, and good luck at the rowing championships June 1st in Sacramento.